Hey, welcome to Route 66 Homestead. We're here on a frigid December 2nd day. And uh, just gonna go over a few things we will be coming up in a few videos to come. When we bought this place, there was a fire pit here and we thought we would use it. We never used it. So we moved the blocks and uh, put some grass seed in and put it up because these guys tear up grass really bad. But moving over, uh, we decided to move the blocks over here. We're going to make an additional flower garden. Uh, probably a lot of milkweed, stuff like that. Um, my big concern is there along the ground. When we fill this up with dirt, I don't want that dirt sitting right next to that wood. So I was considering putting plastic liner just around that edge, like almost an L as I filled it up with dirt. But... If you have any ideas, please let me know down in the comments. Right here, these are leaves that we raked up. Uh, gonna make a leaf mold over the uh, fall and winter. This is a compost container. It's full, I've been rotating it quite a bit. So hopefully this will be ready to help our garden out by uh, next summer. This is Ivy. She's afraid I'm going to take her ball. She's kind of stingy. She's got something. She doesn't want to throw it. There's Wrigley. She's the best of all the dogs. We love them all, but she's uh, she's definitely a very gentle soul. What are you doing, Wrigley? Wrigley? What are you doing? Hmm? And then, along the back here, We've got a few spots in the yard from these guys that keep tearing them up. I need any help. If anybody's got any ideas for a way to get grass to grow in this yard, maybe we're planting the wrong grass seed. I don't know, but any help, please leave them in the comments. We've always had a garden and we decided we was going to put in a small garden. Well, we put up this chicken wire as a temporary solution to a long-term problem because our Aussie coal loves to jump the fence and we get a lot of rabbits in our yard. They check in and they don't check out. These guys have killed 11 rabbits this year that get into our fence and I cannot figure out where they're getting in. But this is gonna be another project I'm gonna be working on this year. I'm gonna put up uh, some wood paneling fence here, put a nice, hopefully a new trellis in here. So, We'll see how that goes. As I said earlier, this guy likes to jump the fence. Cole, what are you doing? Get out of there. Or sometimes he goes underneath. Yeah, come on. Since we moved in, we haven't really done a lot of landscaping. Uh, we planted a few roses some uh, perennial grasses but as you can see we have a lot of areas to fill in uh, we did plant these two perennial ornamental grasses and uh, we really like those a lot they've done very very well for us but moving along i mean you can see we've got a lot to fill in uh, this goes around the sides of the house so start tackling this stuff next year I'm going to be starting a growing project in the basement this winter. I've already started a few. I've got some candelelli seeds going to make, get us some bulbs and some flowers to move forward. So we'll see how that goes. So in our quest to make ever more and more compost, taking this old garbage can that we no longer need. And as you can see, drilled several holes. And at the end, at the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to layer this with some of the scraps that we've been saving from inside. Coffee grounds, coffee filters, old vegetables and fruits. And we're going to layer this to make a, our start for our new compost bin. So what we're doing here is we're starting off with a layer on the bottom of uh, mulched up leaves from our mower. We've got a lot of leaves, and as you'll see, 
I've got uh, several bags in the back, little leaves that I'm using to make a uh, leaf mold. So as you can see, we've taken some of the scraps from the inside. We've got it on top of that first layer of the, the ground up leaves. And now we're gonna make another layer. So we've created our second layer and now we're gonna cover it up with uh, just another thin layer of leaves. And then now uh, we'll get our hot water since it is very cold right now in uh, December here in Illinois. And, uh, top it off to get this process started okay we we've got our second layer of leaves on top here so now the last step to get this thing started i do this one hand is to add our water started in the process. Now, being in Illinois in the winter, it's going to be hard pressed to get any real compost done with the cooler temperatures. Being the way that this can faces the sun for a good part of the day, it might speed up the process, keep it warmer being in a black can. We'll see how it goes, but I'll be adding to this over the next several weeks just to uh, see how we can get it filled up and hopefully uh, at least by midsummer, we'll have some compost.